treats welcome back to or welcome to my channel if you're new i'm toffee and today i'm building a little cliff for maple as well as a couple of extra little areas um yeah so i'm starting by building the first layer of cliff and then the cliff where maple's house is going to be is going to be the second layer of cliff Now I'm building the second layer of cliff. This will be the cliff where Maple's house will be sitting on. So because I wanted to obviously put a ramp up to the second cliff and also I wanted to make a little extra area on the side of this cliff, I ended up going back and forth quite a bit to try and make the cliff bigger um, so that it could accommodate everything that I kind of wanted to do. Thank you. 
I ended up marking out where I wanted to put Maple's house on the top layer of cliff and I didn't feel like there would be enough room to um, decorate it so I added a little bit more onto the top layer. And because I did that, I, I then had to add more onto the bottom layer because it become very small in comparison to what I wanted it to be. So I popped Maple's house down on the cliff so I could kind of see the area that I had to work with decorating wise and then I planted some trees and I'm just laying out some path as well. I decided I wanted to make Maple's area a little farm, I thought that'd be really cute. So I placed down some cute farm items and a watering can and a shovel as well. And then to make it look more like a house rather than just a farm, I added in a clothesline and a washing basket. I'm actually planting nursery cedars and because one is next to the house and one is next to the tree they won't grow any more than what they look like there and then I spruced up the area with some flowers and that was it for Maple's Cliff so after I'd done that I popped in the incline and decided to work on my second little area so I laid out some forest looking paths and now I'm placing all my cedar trees because they're my favourite <laughs> and now I'm just laying out some decorational items to kind of spruce it up a bit more so it's not just trees. <laughs> I think I might add a bit more into this sort of foresty cliff later. It's actually one of my favourite bits on my island so I'd like to be able to add some cute furniture items in there too. And then I decided to get to work in sprucing up my third area. So I'm just switching things up on this cliff a little bit, adding a little waterfall and pond area. And then I go down to the bottom where it sort of leads up to the cliff and it's a bit boring and empty. <laughs> and I'm just building some cliffs and a river as well. Thank you. 
So I just popped my bridge down and now I'm laying out some, some more pathing <laughs> because I put it everywhere. Now I'm planting more cedar trees and just decorating the area a little bit. I'm slowly becoming obsessed with putting log stools down and putting mushrooms on top. I just love it so much, it's so cute! This island build is easily my favourite build I've done so far. I just, I love it so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay sweet treats!